hello everyone and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you an updated version of my um body's basic body's block the front and back so here i have all my measurements written down right here so let's get started so first off i have my paper folded into two now from that top line i'm just going to be marking half an inch so you can set to go with one inch that is okay so half an inch or one inch actually one inch is better so what i'm going to do is draw a straight line from there so now at that straight line i'm going to be marking my shoulder measurement which is 13 13 divided by 2 is six and a half the reason i'm doing that is because my paper is folded into two now after that i marked half an inch allowance which we're going to need later anyways so right now i'm just going to mark my armhole measurement divided by two my armhole round is 16 16 divided by 2 is 8 so what i'm going to do now is mark it on another point and then draw a straight line so after that now i'm going to go ahead and do my waist as well my waist is 17 inches so i'm just going to mark 17 inches right there close to the fold i mark it at another point again and then what i'm going to do is also draw a straight line so what i'm doing is I'm marking my round my um, vertical measurements for my armhole my waist i'm going to do my hip now my hip is 22 that's vertical measurement from shoulder to hip from shoulder to waist is 17 so i'm going to mark 22 inches as you can see right there from that line i marked i'm not adding any allowances vertically as i normally do so once i'm done with that now i'm going to go back to my shoulder remember i added half an inch which i wasn't supposed to do earlier so what i'm going to do is now mark six and a half half an inch at the top made it seven inches but no i'm going to go with six and a half which is my shoulder measurement divided by two and i'm going to draw a straight line to join the six and a half inches at the top and the six and a half inches at the bottom so now on this armhole measurement that i marked the eight inches on that uh, horizontal line i'm going to mark my bust measurement divided by four so my bust is 34 divided by four it is eight and a half so i'm going to mark an x right there to note that so i'm going to go to my waist and do the same thing my waist measurement divided by four is seven inches so if you are not adding that i'm not adding that to that seven inches my hips divided by four is 10 inches my hip round is 40 my waist round is 28 and then my bust round is 34 so i divided everything by four and i'm joining them with a ruler now for this waist now if you decide you want to add that you have you need to add the dart allowance that is very very important that is important because it helps gives um fit to your dress so what i'm going to do now is add one inch to that and i'm going to be using a red uh, marker to adjust that measurement so i'm going to add one inch that which will make it eight with everything here i'm doing is with no sewing allowance at all so once i do that i'm now going to join the points up to my bust measurement and then up to my hip measurement so that is what i'm going to do right now So once I'm done with that, as you can see, the shape is now somewhat outward. So the next thing I'm going to do right here is mark my neck depth of 5 inches. And then I'm going to do my neck width of 4 inches. And then after that, I use this curve and straight ruler to sort of like join the point of my neckline. So what I'm doing now is the front portion of this um, basic bodice unfold. And once I'm done with that, 
I go ahead and do my shoulder slant of one inch initially I used to do half an inch but I realized that one inch is better because it takes away excess especially at the armhole area so I went ahead and started using one inch so once I'm done with that now I'm going to go ahead and go to my armhole so my remember my armhole round was 16 divided by 2 is 8 I'm going to mark the midpoint which is 4 inches at that point I'm going to take half an inch inward and the reason I'm doing this is to also take excess around the armhole in the front part of my basic bodies so once I'm done with this now as you can see I have a curve I'm just going to you know do the back as well with a red marker and the back is usually straighter than the front so that's how the back looks like now the next thing I'm going to do now is to include my dart and in order to include my dart I need my bust point measurement so the vertical measurement is 10 inches from that line top the line I marked at the shoulder and I'm just going to draw a straight line right there so what I'm going to do now on that straight line is mark my dart measurement nipple to nipple measurement divided by two which is seven divided by two is three and a half sometimes i like to add you know one eighth of an inch allowance just to ease the dart area so i'm just going to draw my dart length i usually go with 10 or 11 inches as a standard so right here i marked 10 and then i'm going to mark my dart measurement divided by two my nipple to nipple measurement sorry and then i draw a straight line so usually around the waist is where the center of the dart is some people go one inch upwards depending on their body type some people stay at the waist area so i'm just i'm going to show you on both the waist and one inch upwards so i'm going to now connect the lines i marked half an inch allowance for my dart on both sides so now I'm going to go one inch upwards with a red marker and then I mark half an inch on both sides and then I draw a straight line and then I join the points triangularly at the bottom and at the top as well. So you can see the faint line there is the red marker pen showing another that. So this means that the feet is going to go one inch upward. So for the hem of your dress, you can decide to leave it straight like this or make it curve. And in order to make it curve, I'm going to go two, two inches at the side, sorry, and then I curve it with a French curve. So I'm going to go with a red marker pen at the other side and then curve it with a French curve. So that's how to get a curve on your basic bodice. So now I'm going to start adding half inch allowances using a black marker pen so i use this french curve to do that and then this straight one so i'm adding half an inch allowances sewing allowance to the basic body so you can decide to extend your allowances especially at the side seam or at the hem at the neckline at the shoulder at the armhole you go with half an inch so now for the back measurement now i'm just going to go with a red marker pen to add that allowance so remember the back is much more straighter than the front so i'm just going to show you how i did that and then i curve mark it do a curve with a french curve on the red parts just to get my armhole so now it's time to cut just going to cut with the allowance so you see that the allowance is denoted by a red marker pen for the waist area it's always best to do a curve so that that point is not so sharp so it sort of transitions so i'm just going to continue cutting and i'm cutting the back first that's why i'm cutting this armhole first cutting the back so for the neckline for the back you can decide to leave it as is if you're making a shirt you go with half an inch from your shoulder from your top line if you're making a bodice with zip and you want to lower it down you can lower it down so right here i'm just taking one and a half inch away 
from the same allowance and then i'm just going to mark it and then cut it out so your neckline it varies you can decide to make it low you can decide to uh, make it high that is up to you so i'm going to cut out this one i deemed as the back um, body so now once i'm done with this now i'm just going to open it up as you can see i have the front on one side and the back on one side so what i'm going to do now is cut the neckline for the front and then i'm going to cut the armhole for the front as well so the way i did it i have um the back bodies and the front bodies at the same time so yeah so that is basically it guys this way now i have like i said earlier i have my front and the back so what i'm going to do now is divide it into two separate pieces the front and the back so usually it's always good to note with a marker pen which piece is which so for the back now if you are adding a zip to the back it's always good to add a two inch zip allowance so what i did was cut out a two inch strip and if you are going to be putting this on fabric it's best to tape it together don't cut it as separate pieces at all so now i have the front and the back together again what i'm going to do is mark which one is the front and which one is the back and then i'm also going to tell you this it's very important to mark the points which you are going to place on fold if not you're going to make a mistake so i have the back here and the front on the other side so i need to make sure that the part that is on fold is your center back and the part that is on fold is your center front so whatever i'm writing on fold now for both the front and back piece at the center front and the center back respectively so that is it guys on how to create a basic bodice don't forget to subscribe like and share this video thank you for watching and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye bye